Hey guys, Corey here, BPB. We are back with saving the OBS Chevys part two. Uh, the first part, we basically showed you guys how we disassembled it to get it ready for rockers and cab corners. And in this video, we're going to be showing you guys how to cut it apart and um, do rockers and cab corners yourself if you're interested. Um, this is our take on it, how we do it. We've been knocking these things out. Uh, you know, a few a year now. They're getting really popular and they're, uh, you know, obviously starting to all rust out, but uh, that's the that's the plan for this video series is uh, showing you guys how we're gonna save this one and maybe you guys can take it and save yours. Uh, let's go check it out. All right, guys, we're gonna start on the driver's side. I've already got um, the door here taped up just so we don't get anything in it while we're doing our cutting. Um, you guys can kind of see though, that this thing has been worked on before. I do believe it's had a rocker, um, or at least a partial patch, but you can see here, I'm not dogging on anybody, but it's quite a bit of filler. I don't know. You guys can kind of see they didn't. It looked like they might've tried to repair it, but they just basically put a bunch of Bondo over the rust is what they did. Um, so that's why we're in here doing what we're doing. You can see the backside there. Not terrible. This is the worst part of the truck. Um, so yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and um, get these panels cut down. A lot On these panels, they always, um, you know almost always I generally cut them down I don't use the whole entire thing they um, and on this it's probably probably gonna have to use the whole entire rocker on this because I see rust clean up under here so this side we'll probably go ahead and cut that out and do use this whole piece here um, as far as the back though this panel you can see it goes up goes up past the body line here and from what I can gather this is all pretty good up in here um, all the rot is down in here so we're gonna go ahead and um, trim that panel I always I always try to stay away from changing body lines and um, you know unless it's absolutely positively needed you know and I start cutting on this and see there's rust in here which there's not it's solid as can be but uh, we'll try to cut this panel here down below this body line. And we'll splice it in somewhere in here probably. And that way we're not messing with this. this. These stampings, these new stampings, are not always 100% correct. I mean, so you can, you can do it if you want. You know, if you need it, go ahead. Obviously take it on up above here. Like the panel, you know, like they give you enough for. But I'd recommend not not changing these body lines they they're pretty close from the factory this still needs pins but um everything lines up perfect this door needs pins but we'll change them out and it'll line up 100 percent perfect but yeah so that's what we're going to be doing we'll cut this panel down and i'll set this up on a tripod so you guys can check it out and we will uh get on it all right guys first thing we're going to do is like I said, uh, trim this panel down, so I want to focus in on that. I know about where I need it, so I'm just going to run a piece of tape here so I can make sure I get a nice, perfectly straight line when I'm cutting. All right, nothing special, just slid it on there. Now I'll go ahead and uh, follow that cut all the way down with my three and a half inch 
three inch uh, cut off here and then um, we will put that thing up there and make our marks so I'll go ahead and set you guys up on a tripod and you can just watch me do that um, kind of in time lapse real quick All right, guys, I got the panel cut, got it ground. Um, I put it up there, and you can kind of see how I did that. I just made a mark. I didn't mark it over here because this panel, you can see it kind of, once you uh, drill these spot welds on the side, this thing will just peel off here. But um, for now, we're just going to go ahead and, from our mark right here, we're going to measure down about three-eighths of an inch and uh, then we're going to run a tape line. We're not going to cut on this line that we made. That's just where our panel is going to sit basically when it's done. So we want, we're going to want a flange on this. So we're going to go leave about a three-eighths of an inch and uh, that's about the width of this. And then um, We'll leave that, we'll go ahead and run that tape line and give it a cut. And that'll give us enough room for that tool to slide up in there. So, if you guys are learning anything, give me a like, share, subscribe. I will um, go ahead and set this back up on the tripod here. And um, give this thing a cut and then this will peel open kind of like a tin can here. You guys will see. You can see kind of what's behind it, but um, once I get that peeled open, I should be able to get work a couple dents out here, and then we'll proceed on to cutting the um, rocker out, getting it all marked and cut. But for now, let's go ahead and set this back up here and start cutting on that. All right, guys, you can see uh, I made the slice and then I made a slice down here, right down the inside of the panel. Now, don't go too deep when you're cutting. You'll see where I kind of went a little deep and made contact here. I didn't go all the way through, so I didn't mess up my structure. You know, all my inner structure is still here and I can, you know, reuse all that. But, um, just make a cut all the way down after you make this slice and then um, same thing on this side let me push this up same thing on this side just make a slice right straight down and then um, leaving all of this still attached you see how I done that now I'll go ahead and you know take on that on out here in a little bit but it's a whole lot easier to slice it here and then peel it off rather than to you know try to take it off with this panel at the same time so just slice it down there and then you'll be able to pull it away now if yours is rotted out completely like real bad a lot of times it'll just fall off of there from here uh, this one's not terrible I mean it's rusted but we're just going to um, take our air hammer and flip it up here on the back side. Kind of like this. I don't know if you guys can see how I got that in there. But uh, I'll hit that a few times and then knock them pinch welds away. From the inside here. Um, the underside. Oops. 
Um, you can see I can't really see no pinch welds or anything because it's been body worked before and sprayed, but uh, I will uh, go ahead and hit that with the air hammer just like that and it'll go ahead and knock that apart. You'll be able to see once you start getting the air hammer in there, uh, it'll start separating a little bit and you'll be able to see where you need to hit it exactly. Then we'll get that off of there and go ahead and start cutting on this one. All right, you can see uh, I got that old panel off. Now this right here is somebody else's repair. Now, I knew this had been repaired once, but I wasn't sure to what extent. But they actually did some rocker panels and cab corners. Well, they did the cab corners, not really the rockers. The rockers at Bondo. But um, somebody made something here. You can see the factory where they had cut it. See, they didn't quite get up past this goop here. And we took it on up past that. Because that's usually about where they rot up to, generally. Moisture don't really go up past that. You can see what I'm talking about here. That goop attaches to this brace here. So we cut it up above that. And, uh, you know, that'll eliminate all that. Now, as far as this here, we're going to have to take... And this is just a piece of basically like an L-shaped sheet metal right here the best way I can describe it. Um, it's about two inches by an inch, or about, I don't know, two and a half. So we'll just cut this out instead of buying this inner structure, or, you know, giving them the money for uh, what we can make simply on the um, bench top bender. That wouldn't be smart. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and cut this out and make our own there, and then weld that in and then we will be ready to put the new panel in over top of it after we grind and prep all this but before we go ahead and start doing that we're going to work on getting this um, rocker out of here so we can see kind of what we're working with behind there um, so let's set this back up here on the tripod and Start cutting on that. All right, guys, on these rockers, only thing I cut off is just a little bit here, like a tie cut off the end. I don't know if you guys can see that in that shot there. Uh, all that, all I did there was just to make it match this end. It's a also the, about the same angle and that will um, make it easier for me to cut down here. We'll go ahead and put it where it goes, line it up back here in the back, and make our mark. But remember we're not going to be cutting on this mark. This is just right now just to see where the panel goes. like that. You guys can see it's kind of just roughed out. And we'll do the same thing on this one. We'll take a tape line and we'll run it about 3 eighths of an inch down. And then on the inside, don't, don't, don't cut yourself short and mark it on the opposite side though and have a big old hole here. Cut it on the inside here and uh, give yourself a little bit extra material to overlap these panels. And this will go real well for you.
So we'll cut it. Like I said, I'll, I'll show you here in a second. I'll run my tape up here and then same thing on this side. Give ourselves a little bit of extra material here. And then the bottom obviously don't really matter, but uh, here we need to make sure we have somewhere to attach it. So I'll go ahead and tape that up and make these cuts real quick. All right, guys, I just ran my tape down there. Like I said, I was going to do. I guess I forgot to hit record while I was taping it on. So there it is. It's on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut on this side of my line here all the way around and then get this piece off of here and we'll see where we're at. All right, guys, this is not factory here, so if mine's going to be maybe just a little bit different than yours. This is somebody's cover here, and that was uh, some, uh, you know, aftermarket weld, or so not real, real good spot weld. So it's kind of hard to get them apart. Um, so I, I just went ahead and hit it with the air hammer right in between the split here. And you can do the same thing, I guess, on the factory ones. It's going to be welded in a lot more places. This one's actually only welded in two here and here. And I just hit this one and it fell right apart. So you kind of see it's loose. So I'll go ahead and zap this one real quick and then uh, hopefully this thing falls off here. So you can see where they've made their cuts before and cut it out. And that was just kind of like a slip on piece here. Uh, this one was undercoated on the back side a little bit, but uh, still you can see it's rotted back through. So we're going to go ahead and finish. I'll do this one the same way. Take the air hammer right here down the back side all the way down and like i said it don't matter if we damage this inner structure because we're, we're going to be cutting out a new one to put there anyway so we'll go ahead and uh take that zip gun and hit that boom boom, boom and then knock this on off there real quick <clears throat> all right we're gonna go ahead and um We've got everything cleaned up here, so we'll finish cutting um, the inside of this structure here and be done with all the cutout today. Um, hopefully get down, you know, this whole side cut out completely. It'll be a good day one, um, I guess technically day two. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take my tape. And I'm going to try to make me a tape line the best I can down through there. And that's just to make, give me nice, clean, straight cuts. And uh, while I'm doing that, you guys can watch me on time lapse. I've got this set up here kind of the best I can. Um, right now, I might try to move it and get another angle once I get down there and start cutting. But for now, we'll start cutting here.
All right, guys. You can see I got it all cut out here. Uh, take a look at it from the back side. Nice clean cut. I already pulled my tape um, around. One thing I wanted to show you is around these uh, braces here. Obviously, you can't cut straight through your braces. And if you're if this isn't rotted out here. You can do kind of like I did and cut out around them. And then we'll just butt our new sheet metal right up to it, you know, and weld right over. But um, that's how I do it. Also, this brace here, you can kind of see, pardon my light, but um, yeah, nice straight cuts. Now we'll go ahead. The pieces that we took off, like I said, were about two inches by an inch or so. Here's what they look like. So we'll just bend something up when we get to that point and uh, throw it up in there and weld it all back. But that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and break this one on down. This video is getting kind of long, I think, but I wanted to go ahead and put all this part into one the the cutout that's how it's done guys if you got any questions drop them down below I'll try to help you out um, the next video we will prep it all grind it all um, and go ahead and hopefully start welding the panels in and we'll, what we'll do is we'll weld these panels in and then we'll go back on the inside then and um, finish our inner rocker once we get the outside pieces in. But as far as this stuff here, you guys can see there's a little bit of rust up in there on some of this inner structure. Not a lot we can do about it. Um, I will go ahead and grind and pour 15 everything that I can. and. Uh, I've, I've said it a bunch, that stuff really helps, it helps prolong. Obviously we're not going to be able to get 100% of this rust out of this truck, but we're darn sure going to try to make this last for him a long time. Hopefully he don't have to do this anymore and um, you know, maybe he can pass this truck on. But um, yeah, let's um, wrap this video up here and I'll throw it together tonight and get it up, and this will be part two. All right, guys, thanks for watching Saving the OBS Chevys part two. Uh, this video, we got it all cut out, and uh, part three, we will go ahead and get started on the welding and putting it back together. If you guys learned anything, hit that like, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell, too, so you can get my videos as soon as they come out. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.